Robexi, lo tumbaste en el primer episodio, duró hasta el noveno. ¿A qué atribuyes que duró tanto? You dropped him in the first round. What took you so long to get him out? Bueno, creo que es un boxeador que, que se cuida mucho. Eh, todos saben la historia que traía. Eh, y por lo tanto, tratamos de hacerlo antes, pero como saben, el estratega sala siempre mueve la ficha y seguimos y moviéndolo y buscando el juego hasta que salió. We know that Matias is a fighter who is slick, who knows how to survive inside the ring, and that was his plan. I heard him early, but then we tried to get him out early, and then he's Mael Salas, who's my strategist. He's a chess master. He's moving the pieces in there, and finally we were able to do it properly and get him out of there. Se hablaba de lo importante de este combate para tu futuro. Navarrete va contra Valdez por el cinturón de las 130 libras. ¿Qué significa para ti? We know that Navarrete and Valdez are going to fight for the 130 pound title left vacant by Shakur. What does that mean for you? Bueno, creo que el resultado la posición solo. Eh, terminamos esta pelea como queríamos. Dimos la sorpresa y por lo tanto la próxima pelea quiero ir por campeonato mundial ya que Navarrete salió de la división. Por lo tanto vamos por ese título. I think the result speaks for itself. I got the stoppage, I sent a message, and in the end, if Navarrete is not the champion at 126 pounds, if he's fighting Oscar Valdez for the championship at 130 pounds, then I've got next at 126, and I want that belt. He does have next. As things line up, we should have two compelling fights for vacant belts.